And that blob guy, he's been just sitting there forever. For like the five minutes it took me to start recording again. So, <laughs> you know, that's pretty great. Um, hi, I'm Game Guy. It's time for more. Let's play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Oh no, there's another slime guy. That guy scared me. He <laughs> just kind of came out of nowhere, man. It's crazy. So, in this part, Mario and Luigi must separate their ways. Luigi must go on his own, as well as Mario should go on his own. Venturing forth in places unknown. It's kind of scary a little, I guess. Going alone in a crazy place like this, that's just dangerous and asking for all sorts of trouble. Also, there's a thing there that I can't get yet. Also, oh no, more slimes everywhere. Forever and ever and ever. Um, there are no hidden blocks here, by the way. In case you are looking for hidden blocks, you will not find them here. Also, I need to have Mario on the other side to hit the blocks at the same time. As such, Mario needs to venture out on his own. For he is now an adult and able to go on his own and live his life without the aid of his brother. Um, I don't, I don't know what that necessarily has to do with anything. But, uh, there are blocks here to hit with your head if you want to. I mean, concussions are always cool. No, wait, no, they're not. Concussions are bad. Don't get them. They're, they're not good for your health. Also, I can't get up there because I do not have high jump at the current moment. Mario cannot jump good. What are you talking about? Mario's not able to jump well. What are you... What? No, no. Mar Mario jumping? That doesn't, that doesn't even work. What are you talking about, man? There's a barrel there. I bet you weren't expecting that. <laughs> I bet you didn't expect that barrel. That barrel is just like... And uh, there it was. A barrel in the flesh. Or, well, I, I guess it's wood, but uh, it's hard to tell. This is a bridge over water-looking clouds, uh, maybe. I don't, is that water or is that clouds? It's hard to tell, necessarily. Also, that wasn't a jump. That was a hammer, you silly fool! Fee, go away. When you've come all the way here, you obviously don't give up easy. Cool. Here, have a distortion of some sort. <laughs> because, why not? Also, you press the A and B buttons to hit the blocks as they come flying out to score points. Hmm, that sounds familiar. I feel like we may have done this before in some fashion, possibly. Maybe, I don't know. This minigame seems familiar to me. Hmm. Actually, it's gonna be a little easier this time around, I feel, because Mario and Luigi are the same height. As opposed to last time where Mario was short because, you know, Luigi hit him with a hammer and, uh, you know, crushed his spine like a xylophone. Or not a xylophone, uh, the, the, um, uh, accordion, that's what it is, yes. No, wait, no, I was right the first time because that's more hilarious. It crushed his spine like a xylophone and it made pretty music when you hit it with little ball mallet things, I don't know. This is the part where you need to light a bunch of candles for your birthday grade. It's four years old. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, that moved a block. Oh boy. I love blocks. Especially when they move. They make me happy when blocks move. Because, you know, if blocks just sat there all the time, they'd be boring. That's not the switch to Luigi button. That was the suitcase mobile button. So this is kind of a puzzle. Basically what happens here is Luigi hits it from below and it pops up and Mario's able to jump up to get to the high ledge thingy. Um, that is how that puzzle works in case you uh, didn't just see it happen on the screen. Because <laughs> you obviously didn't. That is not the switch to Luigi button. Gosh, man, I, you'd think I'd get this right after so long, but apparently I did not. So there's obviously a barrel puzzle here, huh? Barrel puzzle. Oh man, there's a barrel! <laughs> Goodness, who would have guessed there'd be a barrel? Well. So basically the puzzle here is uh, you need to have the barrel land on Luigi, except the barrel actually randomly changes places. So you have to 
I don't know, kind of be prepared for it. It, it, it. There's enough time there for you to just quickly get to where it is. So, it's not too difficult of a thing. Also, a bridge! I love bridges. They allow plumbers to meet on them. It's a pretty great invention of mankind. Also, I guess Mario finally gets a battle. <laughs> so, um... Yes, Mario is all alone against the slime guys. This doesn't really change much, but, um... It's not often we get a, a battle where it's just one particular plumber. Also, I still haven't realized that they are weak to fire. Way to go, past self! You are the most awesome! Like, bar none. Serious, I, I, you know, I, I, I feel like applauding you. I, I'm going to applaud you. You, you're, you're doing really good. Actually, this is more of a slow clap, but details. I mean, it's a clap. Claps are, are good. You know, they, they, they show support. You know, they, they make noise between your hands. Wow, this is a, a great fight that uh, is happening here on screen. I'm glad I cut this out. Oh, but I finally realized that they're weak to fire. <laughs> Good job, Self. Good job. Seriously. And so Mario is capable of doing things again. <laughs> these guys. We never actually fought these guys before, although I guess I realistically should have. They shoot snowballs and ice balls, and I'm terrible at dodging all of them. It's absolutely fantastic. And thus, Mario dies. The end! <laughs> Note to self, don't get into battles, I don't need to. That's not the block I wanted to hit! Mario's not gonna fight these guys all on his own! <laughs> Screw that noise! As you can see, I didn't learn my lesson. <laughs> Yay. So these guys, um... I believe they're weak to fire? I don't recall if I actually did that thing in this fight, but, um... Gonna go ahead and see if maybe I did. Oh yeah, they're they're definitely weak to fire. <laughs> Way to go, Mario! You you jumped over a thing. Good job. Speaking of weak to fire, that's what happens when they get burned and run away. And by get burned and run away, I mean their wig is on fire and they run away. I've definitely, you know, that. Just saying, you know. And finally, the reunion of the ages! Oh, it's great. Now I get to run back and get all the things I missed. <laughs> it's, it's fantastical. Also, there's a thing up here, actually, I didn't realize at first, because it was kind of hiding from me, I guess. I don't know. Um, yes, well, there is a hidden bean thing here. There, there are several of these around in this part, which is kind of annoying, because it's battles. But it's okay, because Mario leveled up. It's great! Now he can do more living with more HP, I guess. I, I don't know. It's, it's what he does. He's Mario. Also, Luigi leveled up, too. When was the last time we had a level up of both plumbers in the same battle that wasn't a boss? Um, it's probably been a while. Like, they've been kind of uneven experience-wise, so it's part of the reason why I was doing fights as Mario. You know, just, I figured, might as well try to even them out at least a little bit. Anyway, back to searching for the bean spots. There's a few here and there, and uh, there's a switch here. Hmm, I wonder what that switch is about. I guess we'll have to find out all later, like. But do remember that that switch is there. <laughs> if 
It's kind of, uh, silly. As I was saying... As I was saying... Um... Stuff. As I was saying... Actually, I think what I'm doing here is, uh, I'm trying to set up for getting that switch. Um... Basically, what you gotta do is you gotta get a barrel all the way back there. And as you recall, there's a few barrels strewn throughout this area. Uh, also, by the way, this area here is where you need to go to actually progress. Is that not correct, Mr. Stamp? It probably is. But, um, no, like, why did I turn around exactly? I thought I was gonna keep going there, but I guess I didn't? Question mark? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it seems as though I'm still on the hunt. All oh, right, there was a bean spot down here. That's why I'm going this way. This is hard in post commentary mode because I don't remember exactly what I was thinking at the time of playing. I only know what I'm thinking right now. I cannot read past minds, even though it is myself. Um, it's just not an ability I am blessed with. Also, I'm noticing now in uh, the past, that uh, certain barrels do not seem to exist anymore, and therefore I am perplexinated. Yeah. So, onward, I guess, um, to getting lost a whole lot, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know exactly where I am attempting to go here. I think I'm trying to head back to the, um, progression point, so to speak. Yeah, I believe that's where I'm going, because this is the correct direction here. Yes, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna move on, we're gonna, we're gonna progress, it seems like a, a good thing to do, you know, actual, actual progression, that might be good. Watch out for these Koopa guys, they're pretty great with their existing and whatnot. Phantasmical. That guy just kind of flew away, because why not? Um, there's a door here. Ah, we're getting close, but not quite. Hmm, I wonder if there's yet another puzzle to be done in this place. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Are we done yet? No, probably not. Um, yes. Fee? Oh, man, cut it out. You're the most stubborn people I know. No girls would ever like you. Um, well... Let's see, there's Princess Peach, oh, no. Princess Daisy, and Bombette, and those oh, Piantas no. that give you fruit, and Toad number 356. Toad number 356 really likes Mario. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> like, obsessively. It's great. I can't think of any more girls, though. Um, there probably are more. I, I've just, you know, it's hard sometimes to tell if uh, certain species are actually like male or female because they don't like actually have any defining qualities that uh, define them as a specific gender so um, you know it's hard to tell in the mushroom kingdom sometimes everybody looks exactly the same unless you're important to the plot in which case you'll look completely different from everybody else such is the way of pretty much every game ever. Because, uh, lazy sprite designers, I guess. I don't know. Although, in some cases, it's not really sprites. It's more, um... I don't know, maybe models, or, um... I, what do you even want to call them in Paper Mario? Are, would those be sprites, or would... I don't even know what that would be called, technically. But, they're, they're like, two-dimensional 3D models? that be accurate? I, I guess, maybe. <laughs> I'm not actually sure where that falls. Way to go, Luigi. Oh man, Mario! You leveled up again, you crazy guy! Leveling up a whole lot. Here, have some more not BP, but instead speed, but not really. We're actually going to give you stash. Yes, of course. Giving him stash powers was obviously the thing to do in this situation. 
now let's see what power Luigi gets. I hope it's the ability of flight. But no, it, it's the ability of uh, two more speed. It's a uh, pretty oh, no. good ability. And there sure are a lot of fights in this video. Oh, no. ah! Way to miss! Way to go, Mario. Remember how I said the, uh... That attack's kind of wonky because Mario's slightly forward compared to Luigi? Well, there's my argument. Also, here's Knockback Bros, I guess. <laughs> I failed it, by the way. Also failed it again, but uh, whatever. Yeah, so that was three fights in a row. Thanks, enemies. Um, bit of an addendum to what I said about the Trupias earlier. Um, seems like if you use the uh, jump bros moves, you can pretty much one-shot them as long as you don't fail it. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I, yeah, For whatever reason, you know, I, I'm doing it more in this LP than I ever did in the past, but a lot of times I would almost never use bros moves except in boss fights. I know I'm not the only one to, like, to do this because there's a lot of I, well, I know I'm not the only one that has a similar strategy. Like, you want to conserve all your honey syrups in case you need them, but then you never end up using them. So by the end of the game, you've got, like, 99 of each, and they're just sitting there not being used. So, uh, you know, this game gives you more than enough of uh, those types of things. And, I mean, like, is it Mario or Luigi that has uh, the regeneration badge? Like... I, I really have no excuse not to use bros moves more often than I have been. I mean, in some cases, a regular attack's either all I need or actually will do more damage. Like, um, like Luigi's Thunder Hand compared to Thunder Bros. Thunder Bros is more meant to be an all-enemy attack. Using it on one enemy isn't going to do a lot. And, like, in some cases, it, it's more beneficial to at least kill one enemy instead of having them take a lot of damage, but otherwise both still be alive. Also, this is how you do this puzzle. You need to generate the twister and blow water upon it. Um, and then take yet another drink of water because, uh, oh, time wasting. But, um, yes. We're reaching close-ish to the end here. Oh, yes. Ah, this barrel here. Mm, that seems suspect. We're getting pretty close to the end here. I wonder... If maybe we're at the end of Joke's End. Joke's End End? Ah, stamp! What? No! You're wrong. Stop it. Gosh. Next time! The end? I, I guess. This place is pretty big. We're getting pretty close. You never know! I'll see you later, Goodbye.